Well, joint custody can be difficult, especially if you hear your child say, I don't want to go to the other parent's house. So what do you do as a parent? Do you force your child to go? Here with help plus answers to your questions is Live at Five's family attorney, Sonia Kaufman. So Sonia, what do you do if you hear your child say, I don't want to go to my mom's or I don't want to go to my dad's? Do you force them to go? That's a very difficult problem that the courts struggle with, I think, every day. But the short answer is a parent is responsible for getting the other child or the child to visit with the other parent and for complying with the court's order. So it may be that some counseling would help, but something has to be done to get that child to want to go. How do you get the, the, the child to go? I mean, you try to talk nice to them and get them excited about going to visit the other parent, but That's true. what if they have a meltdown? Well, and that happens too. A lot depends on the age of the child as to what's appropriate. I, I have yet to have a court say that you have to physically tie a child up and put them in the car with the other parent, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you need to have the child ready with their bag packed when they're picked up. So it's kind of a fine line that a parent has to walk. And what I find is that parents can often encourage that attitude without even meaning it through, or without even realizing that they're doing it through subtle comments that they make like, oh, I'm gonna be so sad while you're gone. I don't know what I'll do. I mean, there are lots of things to watch in encouraging that child to go. Okay, on to some of our Facebook questions. If a man signs over his rights for his child, can he get those rights back? Depends. If he signed a voluntary relinquishment of rights that has a provision whereby it can be revoked within a certain time period, then possibly he can revoke that. But if it's gone all the way through termination, through court order, then generally the answer is going to be no unless there's some legal defect in that termination order. Okay, another question. This person has two questions. With the Texas Supreme Court authorizing standardized forms for divorce, will this be a detriment to a family in Texas? Also, do you think in the near future the U.S. Supreme Court will hear a case on the Texas parental termination statute? The standardized forms is a big issue, as you can imagine. The family law section of the state bar has opposed the forms because they believe that it's not in someone's best interest to enter into some of the most important legal decisions of their lives without proper representation. So the Supreme Court and the Texas Family Law Section kind of disagree on that point. But I suspect there are circumstances with no children, no property, that someone might be able to use a form and, and do their own divorce. But if there are retirement accounts or issues dealing with children, it's just not a good idea in my opinion. Um, Texas parental termination statute. I, I'm not aware of a case before the U.S. Supreme Court, although they hear cases all the time on those issues, termination of parental rights, because that's one of the most fundamental rights that we have as parents, the right to parent. So there's a lot of law on that. Okay, another question. If you believe a company has breached an employment contract, how quickly should you pursue it? A case for breach of contract has to be brought within four years of the date of the breach. So you, that's the time frame, but someone may also have to check with the EEOC to get permission to sue if there are civil rights violations alleged. So I would start there too. All right, Sonia, as always, we appreciate you stopping by and answering Thank our you. questions. And if you would like to have Sonia answer your questions, you can always post your questions on our KFDM News Facebook page every month.